And you're still watching the breakfast show on GTV, the Tuesday edition is the month of February and it's called the Black History Month. What is Black History Month? Has uh, the African any history at all? And in the studio with me to answer those questions is uh, Nana Yao Yeboa, the director of Visionaries Foundation, and he says he's a passionate youth and Pan-African activist. And then next to him is Dr. Kwame Ose, who is an African historian. Gentlemen, you welcome to the studios of GTV. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So I begin with you, Nana Yao. What is Black History Month? Black History Month started somewhere in 1926. One um, Dr. Carter Godwin Woods, who at a point had a challenge with the president of Harvard University, decided to spend the rest of his life in researching about the black man or the black person to understand who we are and to teach us our history. So in 1926, second week in February, Hope and Wallace pioneered the first gathering for the celebration of Black History Month. And it happened to have coincided with the birthday of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. The main essence of Black History Month is to teach and empower and uncover what we have done as blacks so that whatever thing that intimidates us and does not make us come out of our shells to express the beauty we have given to us by the Creator, then we can be as God says we are. So Black History Month is a, is a month for education, teaching the history of the black man. Okay, so Dr. Kwame, you talked about the fact that when we celebrate this month, then we're going to know what the African mm -hmm. has done. Can yeah. you uh, continue from there? Yeah, basically, I just want to elaborate on that by you know, showing, showing something that will show to your viewers out there the colossal achievements that the black race has done. Now, I just want to show this timeline. Uh, if it's possible. You sit down, I think the camera, just open it okay. and the camera will, will just Okay, it's a quite long thing. For us. Yeah. Okay. So if you hold this timeline. So we're really going to delve into history right. this morning. <laughs> this is a timeline, okay? okay? That shows you our history okay. from ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. But ancient Egypt isn't the beginning of African history because it is said that Ethiopia is the mother of Egypt, meaning that Ethiopia came before Egypt. Okay, so this dates to 5000 BC, which is 5000 years before Christ was even born. So, the, so life didn't begin with Christ in the Bible, because Christ in the Bible is somewhere around here. Okay, we already built the pyramids 2500 years before Christ was born. We've done the, law, the first legal system called Mahat, which is what uh, British law and even Ghanaian law is based upon. Okay, we did even the first calendar. 4,256 BCE, which is 4,236 years before Christ was born. So this is some of the, so this timeline gives you an indication what we as African or black people have achieved, okay? So it, 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 it demystifies the lie that the African race has no history and that we have no culture. We have a colossal history, you know, because when we, when we were here, ancient Egypt, there was no Chinese people, there was no white people, there was no Indian people, <coughs> there was no Arabs. We were the first people on the planet. God put us as the first people on the planet. And it's been documented by even European historians like Louis Leakey. Through DNA sample, through archaeological sample, through dinological gen 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 sample, that the African woman was the first person on the planet. Not the African man, not this Adam and Eve story that has been bombarded by historians, no. The black woman was the first woman on the planet Earth. And there was even an article in Time magazine to state that fact, that the black woman was the first woman on the planet. Okay, so you, you just said uh, we are the first people to be on this yes, planet absolutely. Earth God created. So what, uh, what have we done? Well, because I earlier on mm -hmm. you were telling me that our history books do not even teach us mm -hmm. the right things about ourselves. Oh, absolutely, because, you know, in schools t in Ghana today, you know, they didn't teach anything about black history. You know, but if you, if you knew, if our children were to know that mathematics, science, physics, geography, agriculture, commerce, these things came out of Africa, religion, all the main religions of the world came out of Africa, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and even Hinduism came out of Africa, 
even even the Hindu prophet called Krishna, Krishna is black. In the Indian language, Krishna means blue black, meaning that the prophet was black. So in religion, we brought all this to the world. Even today, 2010, if you look at things like the mobile phone, you look at the internet, you look at IT, you look at telecommunications, you look at um, the traffic lights, we brought all this to the world. It was invented by African people. So when people say that we have not contributed to nothing, it is part of the deception and part of the lie to make you as a black person inferior and to look down upon yourself. But when you realize through your history and through your culture that you have contributed everything to humankind and that without the African race,